Welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday of the third week in Ordinary Time and the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the Church. Morning Prayer is a daily part of the Liturgy of the Hours, the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us worship the Lord, fount of all wisdom. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the road to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look upon the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord, God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Bless your people, Lord. You have given us the law that we may walk from strength to strength and raise our minds to you from this valley of tears. May we receive the gifts you have gained for us. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord, Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. 
many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. Sing to the Lord, and bless His name. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless His name. Proclaim His help day by day. Tell among the nations His glory, and His wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. His are majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord, you have renewed the face of the earth. Your church throughout the world sings you a new song, announcing your wonders to all. Through a virgin, you have brought forth a new birth in our world. Through your miracles, a new power. Through your suffering, a new patience. In your resurrection, a new hope and in your ascension, new majesty. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Simply I learned about wisdom and ungrudgingly do I share. Her riches I do not hide away, for to men she is an unfailing treasure. Those who gain this treasure win the friendship of God, to whom the gifts they have from discipline commend them.
Blessed be the Lord. For love of him, St. Thomas Aquinas spent long hours in prayer, study, and writing. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Blessed be the Lord. For love of him, St. Thomas Aquinas spent long hours in prayer, study, and writing. Man was created to glorify God through his deeds. Let us earnestly pray. May we give glory to your name, Lord. We bless you, Creator of all things, for you have given us the goods of the earth and brought us to this day. Look with favor on us as we begin our daily work. Let us be fellow workers with you. Make our work today benefit our brothers and sisters, that with them and for them we may build an earthly city pleasing to you. Grant joy and peace to us and to all we meet this day. May we give glory to your name, Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you made Thomas Aquinas known for his holiness and learning. Help us to grow in wisdom by his teaching and in holiness by imitating his faith. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Monday of the third week in Ordinary Time and the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the church. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, and composer Kevin Allen. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God the Liturgy of the Hours.